What up, what up? What's going on, everybody? Was supposed to be growing on here tonight, but I'm not sure. He he had messaged me about fucking 1230, and I missed that because I was working. So he might have fallen asleep. Just rolling up some Kingpin OG from Ken Genetics. Doing fucking, this stuff's aged uh, four and a half months care. Doing well. Really liking it. Warren Dixon, Jazz Warrior, what's up, homie? Jazz, you want to come on here, bro? Send you a link if you want. Kermit Gardens, read it. We got seven people watching. Teeth pods starting to open. Hell yeah. Well, make sure that they're uh, nice and striped before you pull them. Because the last thing you want to do is go like, oh, look at a couple like that. And then, you know what I mean? It's not where it needs to be. When I'm, when I'm, uh, hold, all right. hold on. Let me stop by saying the little bit of breeding that I have done, um, I would suggest going a little bit longer considering the fact that if you're making seeds you definitely want to uh kind of backtrack a little bit and say okay well decided to go and do uh you know um seed production at this time so therefore i probably want to go run in a you know a week week and a half later two weeks possibly sometimes three depending on the strain it's a little word of advice i'm no breeder you know by any means but uh i do play one on tv Yeah, they are waste plant, so I'm gonna run them long. Hell yeah, bro! That's like what I like to do when I do um, feminized seeds, using kind of any, any kind of sprays or uh, Clodial Silva. I don't smoke that plant at all. You can get very sick. Sometimes you might end up okay, but I'm telling you right now, you probably just want to say, eh. You know what I mean? Just dedicate that one plant. Well, in my in my, in my case, I'll dedicate that one little plant, one little tent, um, breeding tent. For a plant that I either am going to feminize, and if I run it with um, not feminizing it without Clodio silver or any kind of uh, mineral sprays or anything like that, like Teresius mist, I'm going to end up pollinating it with another, you know, with a male, and those are fine to smoke. You know, what, what, whatever bud that you do get out of that, I just would not suggest you go and spray a plant with Clodio silver and then try to smoke that shit after. I don't give a shit how good it looks. That's, that's a good idea. Instead of killing them out, pollinate it, dude. Feminize it, whatever. I mean, there's pros and cons to every every situation by far, but for what it's worth, exactly what uh, I would have did. You know, if you have the room to do it, you know, mom plants end up getting pretty big, especially when you uh, go to flower them, considering they've been around and they've already established pre-flowers and had a ton of fucking clones taken off of them or whatever it may be, and They've been around for a lot longer, so therefore, that plant production is going to be really, really good. What about spraying just a branch and self-pollinating? Yeah, I don't mind doing that either, but I still wouldn't smoke the plant, though, just because of the fact that if it's just a branch, yeah, it's just a branch, but who, who's... I don't... It's, it's like systemic to the plant itself, and I really don't want to have that. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you can't. I just wouldn't be safe. Any kind of overspray, who knows, dude. Four twenty, four twenty. Oh, my strain that I created, the Bora. Um, four of them that I planted yesterday. 
have already, I'm sorry, two days ago have already popped up. So we're in 48 hours and they're already cracked and popped. We're good to go. Give it a couple of days, establish a little bit of a tap root and the uh, rapid rooter that I have that I supercharged with CalMag and Mammoth P, a little bit of micro um, solution. And yeah, that, that's a nice start to it. It'll thrive alive. Did that, and we'll be putting those in solo cups soon enough. I ran Bora before. It was it was uh, it's really really good, really tasty, unique, small. Pretty much everything I wanted in a plant. That's why I bred it. Similar to the baboon structure, so it was uh, really really good. And for the few few of us who have actually grown the Bora, y'all know what the deal is with that. It's a really good strain. Shout out to V-Dub and Seven Leaf Genetics for the uh, mails for those. But enough about that shit. What is everybody smoking on? We got six people, I mean, nine people in the house. What's good? guys have any questions want to talk about something like that it's kind of like the my adhd lets me or allows me to wing it pretty much to uh jump from one subject to the next so chernobyl what up ginger snaps how we doing 10 people in the house little azos michaels for sure but you don't think mammoth p is overkill no because uh phosphorus potassium you know i mean like a little little microbe i mean that it uh definitely helps on the uptake and you you need that Throughout the whole growth period of the plant more so in flower but definitely throughout the um for like the nutrient exchange going through the plant itself the potassium and uh, the phosphorus is going to help a whole bunch so if you're using something that kind of um helps that along a whole bunch and with other microbes and bacillus and different things it definitely helps a bunch i believe i've seen results you know i've seen nice thick you know, um, seedlings and whatever else, but uh, you, you you never know. It, it could just be the strain, but if it's growing healthy and it wants to grow vigorously, everything's in check. I think it does help a little bit. I've always just had you know a little bit of mammoth pea, 0.6 of a milliliter per gallon. And I'll literally soak that shit right in the wrapper rooter. So, smoke some skunk rack. Speaking of skunk, I walked outside my backyard, dude. There was, I was like, wow, it's overpowering. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, that's my bud. That's like, you know, almost 20 days in the flower. Smelling like that, I'm in for a treat. Nah, it was a regular skunk. I seen it run across my yard. I was like, son of a bitch. That ain't the skunk I'm looking for. Best care I've had so far. I love it. That's awesome. Most important part of the grow. Anybody can grow a plant, whether it be cannabis or whatever, you know. But if you, you're trying to grow fruiting plants, flowering, you know, and you get buds and shit like that, you want to make sure that you're not doing it all for nothing. You want to make sure that you uh, dry that correctly and cure it. Depending on what you want to do, if you're pressing it or if you're running bubble hash with it, you're running dry sift after the fact or whatever. Um, there's different different levels you want to obtain for sure i like 60 60 which is 60 fahrenheit and 60 percent humidity for about 10 to 14 days trade balloon rose no notification sorry bro i don't know most hated what's up homie oh now it pops up what up what up most hated. I was checking out those tents today. One you, the one that you had picked up from uh, that site you had sent me earlier from, on IG. Not a little bad, dude. They're not too bad tents. Yeah, Ginger, you you'll get you get the hang of it. You know, it uh, definitely takes a little bit of um, experience to to get into that good type of uh dry and you know, especially if you know how that strain already had dried before 
whether or not you have made mistakes or not made mistakes with it. See how fast it actually takes the moisture out. You don't want to overdo it because you do not want that hay smell. Can bounce back from it, but a little bit too long, not bouncing back. You're going to get some, you know, you could have grown some A-plus type of shit in uh, flour, and then you could have just ruined it and you dry. Cave care, as I like to call it, 60-60, just to make sure I have plenty of air circulation in the tent. That's right. You don't want to take moisture out too fast either, so you want to make sure if you have any kind of dehumidification inside that little dry tent, that it fits the dry tent. It's not too much for it, because taking taking moisture out of your buds too quickly, is just, you know, you might as well just have a fucking fan directly on it, which you do never want to do. You always want to have a little bit of air circulation in there, you know, fresh air coming in type of deal. Um... And just make sure that it's like not going to dry too quickly. Because I, I have done that. I've overpacked my dry tent, dried the hell out of it, and it took too much moisture out. Where it literally took out like a, a whole liter. You know, I mean, um, uh, I think that dehumidifier is a 0.8 liter or something. So it's it's pretty small. It's like a half liter or some shit. And it took out that much moisture within 24 hours. And that was too not not so good mine's all controlled with controllers so it once it hits 60 percent humidity it shuts off i don't care if it's for like five seconds once that's regulated for 24 hours straight i know my humidity is uh in check with that plant and the the, the dry is been doing very very well so if you're gonna have a fan in there make sure it's at the bottom not directly on the leaf you know or on the buds or whatever else because if you end up putting on the buds you will dry that butt area too uh, too quickly I'm not saying if you have it if you don't have it at 60 60 you, know, you don't have to go crazy you can have a little bit of a fluctuation in that just keep an eye on it you know just shoot for that it's a goal to shoot for I've heard a copy catch that extinct cool I think if I think the name is whack go to the website check it out way too expensive they have some pretty elite strains bro i mean they are pretty good i have not ran coffee catch eggs, but I, they've been around for a while i will say that yeah they are around for sure coffee catch eggs are definitely around I agree with the name though because it's like if you got some elite shit, bro, why are you gonna call it copycat, man? You copying someone else? That's, that's, that's in my opinion. Like, mm, you're not the best name choice, but I don't know what they were going for at the point uh, at that present time. Although I will say that whatever they have made for genetics have definitely improved well, and they've been out there, yeah, reputable for a lot of different sources. So check it out. I mean, look them up. You uh, you may not be uh, disappointed, bro. That's like dying breed seeds, though. They've been around for a little while, but they have, they do their ten packs and shit are like five hundred bucks. So it's a lot, man. It's not fucking cheap. I just have my bed so I can always see the temps in the tent. I really keep an eye on it. Great. That's awesome. Humidify for the first time uh, with drying. Sorry if I miss some of the info. What do you suggest? 60-60. Uh, 60% humidity, 60 degrees. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to obtain if your ambient temperature is uh, a little bit higher than that. And the outside, if you're using a tent. Uh, if you're using a tent and the grow room itself is, say, 68, being in the dark over here, it might be like 64. Well, that's four degrees higher than I want to be, but it's still obtainable. Uh, you just got to keep an eye on it. You know, it's you don't got to be exactly at that. If you can obtain that exact 60-60 or even like, you know, 70-55 or whatever else, just keep a really close eye on it. Dehumidify takes the moisture out. Ginger snacks. 
dehumidification. Just a little bit of moisture, the relative uh, humidity in the air in that tent. And I use this tent right here. This is my dry tent. This is one of the better quality of, um, I think this is 1680D um, for the, the tent itself, which I'm not using any light inside of it, but I, I wanted to make sure that I was able to, um, when I put plants in here and I closed it off and it went up, I wanted to make sure that it could actually obtain what I was trying to do without having too much of a fluctuation from the outside air or too much humidity from trapping it in being a little bit heavier material. Just, you know, things to look out for. Problem, Dink. Chicago Association, Texas OG, my friend. Do you want to come on, Texas? Come on, the panel of Koski. Come on, bro. I talk to myself in the fucking third person, apparently. I'm not going to say that again. Yeah, do you want to come on, Texas? I'll send you a link if you want, bro. You always have some crazy great knowledge to drop. You always got that good, uh, that good, good grown, bro, with that organic. I'm not necessarily organic by any means. I do like to run a clean product. So if that entices something to do with organics, hell yeah. If not, then I uh, make sure I flush well enough where I can actually get that shit out there. So, Pats fan, what's up, bro? Pats fan, you're welcome to come on also, homie. Bumpy Johnson, new to you live, bro. Well, I'm glad you're here, Bumpy. Thank you for joining us tonight. Appreciate that a whole bunch. Just give me one second and send some links up. Bam. Texas link is sent on um, Hangouts. And Pat's fan, I'll even throw you a link, bro. right yeah whenever you want to bro so uh, i just sent you the link i sent text the link also venom grower what's going on man you got deadhead in the house southern chance vapor what's good 420 Southern Towns Vape is like, I got knowledge too. I want to be on the show. Bro, whatever you want, man. You want to come on? Let's do it. Doing good. I'm doing really good. Um, I did my good deed for the day and um, helped a fellow 420 community um, person tonight. And I was really glad that I could. And I'm glad that a lot of you other people did the same thing and followed suit. But if I'm a 420, he... Uh, he didn't ask for anything, didn't need anything from us, but you know what? It helped him out a whole bunch, him and his family. And um, I started something out with throwing 420 in his direction, you know, put all his 20 cents. And next thing you know, he had a lot of donations going through there. And um, he got overwhelmed. And uh, that's what it's all about. Not overwhelming somebody, but at the same time, showing appreciation that you uh, see what they're doing out there, you know? So much love to, much love to him. And smoking Sid. Cheers. Michael Jordan in the house. Yep. Yeah, I don't like to have too much fluctuation between my temperatures, even at night. You know, it, uh, I want to only have less than, in my opinion, less than a 10 degree fluctuation. Obviously, you can go more than that. The plant's very resilient. But you definitely want to obtain a, um, a good climate your humidity and temperature night and day i like to grow photo periods 
then my auto is the same way. Southern Towns Vapor. If you want to, um, yeah, man, you can jump on if you want. You can jump on another time, whatever you want to do. If you want to talk to me behind the scenes and we can make up a uh, little, um, you know, like an hour and a half show or something like that where we can talk about different things. You, me, your grows, whatever. You do that. If not, then it's cool. Cutty Mac in the house. What's up, bro? Man, it's 2.41 a.m. where I am, and you guys uh, all show much, much love over here, and I appreciate that a whole bunch. Coming off working 11-hour shifts, I want to make sure that I get, get home and I can talk to my peeps, talk to my family over here. That's what I consider you guys, all my family, because I've been around this community for some time now. I've been doing live for like three years almost, and um, before that I was around for two years, so I've been around here for like almost five years. It's crazy. Two forty-one here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's getting late. It's my uh, it's my go time. No doubt, bro. Southern Chimes. Why don't we do that, bro? Why don't we uh, why don't we get some going? Uh, we, can, we can talk about some shit behind the scenes, bro. If you got um hangouts or well, IG, hit me up. What up, Steve? Sajes. My temps stay around 77.7 while the lights are on. Then it dropped to 71. Perfect, brother. Studying up on some things, Bill goes suggested. Exactly. Get the plant, plant transpiration rate when it's when they're sleeping. You know, CO2 goes up, this and that goes up, bro. I mean, it's a uh, it's different nature of the ball game when you when those plants are you know when the lights are off. Because fluctuation in humidity on an extreme level can be detrimental to your growth that makes sense in other words your shit goes way higher than it needs to you're not using co2 you know what i mean where um you've uh, induced that when you introduce that into the grow throughout the process of it then you could definitely have some issues you, know, you don't want to make your plant sick and it's one reason why i use mammoth pea and different microbes in the beginning because it makes this plant more resilient Easier for uptake is easier and better for uh, an overall plant health in general. Oh, I'm gonna pump this channel. Oh shit! 581, 582, homie. And the bell's wrong. That's dope. Now, my friend, you're probably going to get a wrench. They usually don't throw wrenches out the first time around if I've seen you in here, just because of the sole purpose that, you know, if I did that for everybody, then you end up getting, uh, not, not everybody in this community is, is, uh, is 100%, you know, and that's just how shit is on YouTube. That's just, we are a small little people, little group of people. So. Want to make sure we keep that group of people nice and tight. So exactly, times of humidity and CO two. Yeah, exactly. Yep, BPD concept is great. Yeah, exactly. It's how much moisture that can be held in that air, bro. That's going to determine a lot of different factors in your grow. You know, if you think about it, if you have uh, organics and you have a soil web. You would definitely want to uh, make sure that your plant can talk to your soil. Uh, yeah, talk to your soil. Talk to your soil in uh, every means possible. So, I know you've been on that VPD, bro, and you got me looking at that shit now too. Even though I've never looked at it, you know, like that for a lot of you know for a lot of years that I've been growing. But for what it's worth right now, bro, um, it really makes a lot of difference. So I, I just like to have my shit in check and controlled where I need it to. You know. But yeah, you brought up a lot of great points to acknowledge last time we talked, bro. But it is definitely science. Definitely, um, you definitely need to be on top of your game. Did I know about that shit back in the day? Hell no, but I still did it. 
and it worked out. So let's go. Just shut my camera off for one second. Guys, look at Hulk Koski. And live for 25 minutes, I haven't even fucking sparked a blunt yet. And I got two rolls, so I got to get on my game here. And get this shit down. Much love to you guys, for sure. Um, I feel like a new grower nowadays because of all the different things that have been going on in my tents as far as lighting goes. You know, and then all of them being connected and everything else. Uh, I've been having a, I shouldn't say, I'm not going to say a real challenge because the setup that I have definitely allows me to uh, obtain a great product throughout the whole entire system that I created. So it's definitely some good shit. And that beep right there you guys heard is Pat's finger. There he is. There he is. There he is. What's going on, ladies and gents? Bandwagon fan. That's fan, the bandwagon man. 49ers fan. 49ers, hell yeah. Dude. Yep. There's a huge pool going at work, dude. I'm like, oh, you're going to join? I'm like, no. Nah. Fuck KC. They're going to get their ass kicked. I'm seeing it. I saw it already in a dream last night. Saw it in a dream, right? Right? It came to me last night in a dream. So crazy you said that because I literally just had deja vu that you were going to say that. Which brings me to another fact. If you guys ever um, get a chance to see a great documentary, look at the documentary called Waking Life. Waking Life. It's a great documentary that um, is a bunch of um, celebrity actors and actresses that uh, end up getting interviewed on their thoughts about certain aspects of um, how we might be in a sleep state and not in a wake state because of the sole purpose of like there's deja vu you know so you don't really know what's awake or asleep you have to like doze off for like one second you know or like a minute but it feels like you went through a whole entire day in your dream fucking crazy well another human mind you know it's how the human mind works in a lot of different ways so if you ever get a chance check out waking life it's great you know and um i checked it out micro dosing and and um, well, mushrooms a couple different times, and I thought that really expanded my mind and my uh, my abilities to to really take in what they were talking about. Because uh, you know it, it's it's a lot to take in. Because you think of shit like that, you're like I don't know, man, that's kind of crazy. We're awake right now. Well, once I watched the video, I was like, dude, this is freaking crazy. So check that shit out. Anyways, uh, how you doing tonight, Batman? I'm just jolly. Doing great. It's my birthday. It's your birthday today? Yep. Right now? Right now. Like just came your birthday at midnight? Yep. Happy fucking birthday, my friend. Thank you. Shit, you old bastard. I know, huh? Fucking 39 again. Yeah, 39 again, huh? I want you fucking wish. I don't know how I keep doing it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta stop hitting Never that. Yeah, turn that card over. Keep saying thirty nine on him. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, Fats man. Thanks. Yeah, I if I knew that, I would have titled it the fucking birthday guy. Yeah. He's like, ah. Yeah. I don't, feel, I don't feel any fucking younger. Nah. Once you so get good. to a certain point, they don't mean much anymore. It's more like Dude, a fucking. They mean a lot, it's like bro. it's like a ticket going the other way now. It's like, oh shit. Yeah. Well, in my in my opinion, uh, if you can, if you can. Cheat death for another year. Every single year that you feel as if you may be over your uh, I've cheated time. death too many times already. Yeah, I've, I've already cheated death by twenty for twenty years. You know what I mean? And I'm only thirty five years. I'm you know thirty going to be thirty five years old. So these things got to get out of these fucking cups. I'm gonna kill half of them though. I'm gonna die. Sorry. You're gonna witness mass murder. Mass murder. Yeah. Jesus. But this soil needs to like get to at least room temperature because it's fucking cold. I spy. Oh, my living room is like fucking 51 degrees right now. Let me turn the heat on out there. 
bro. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy 39. They got that. Birthday. They got the right driver to me today for those QB 18s. Guy was right. He open ended it. See. Some next I'll have to email him and say thank you. It's too bad more, more companies ain't like that. Who? Oh. Um, companies IPC online. They they just electronic stuff. Yep. LED drive LED drivers. They sent me the wrong one. Oh, and they made it right. And I was just fucking pissed. That. I was pissed. I'm like, what the fuck? The guy hit you up. And was like, you he actually called car. me. He called me like ten minutes. My phone rings. He goes. His name was David something. I, I'm like, can I help you? And he's like, yeah, from IPC Electronics, you just said you had a problem on Amazon that you sent you the wrong driver. I'm like, yeah, you're absolutely sure. I'm like, I'm positive. He says, it, it's what does it say on the box? He said the same thing it says on the driver. And he goes, all right, well, keep that one. I'll overnight you one. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I'll get you. I'll be over there. Be by Wednesday. Came That's today. Great, you made it right, man. That's customer service. Yeah, I mean, you don't see that a lot anymore. You know what I mean? No, that, that's that's good customer service right Unless there. you buy electric skylights, you'll get that. But. Yep. Yeah, the, uh, the the green, what is it, the Green Sunshine Group or something? Green Sunshine Company. Yeah, that they have great customer Dan's, service. Dan's a great HLG yeah. has got uh, good customer service also. Uh, I don't know. I've been having I have, nightmares I, well, about I that lately. I have called them one time, and they've made things right. when uh, I, I had one problem once. They didn't call them. I emailed them. And it fell 24 hours later, and then it took like a day later. They had the, well, five days later, the new part was at my door. That's not and they bad. Didn't, they didn't have me send it back either. They were like, just keep it. I was like, shoot. Bless. It was just a, um, again, it was a driver. No, it wasn't a driver. What was it, HLG, that I got that didn't work? Yeah, it was the driver. The driver that came with the, uh, the first, uh, QB65 I had. The driver didn't work when I plugged it in. A QB65? Yeah, that's what came today. Right really? Here. Same thing you got. Oh, oh, okay. Not, but it's not it's also called a QB120 or QB... Yeah, it's a QB24 or something. Or like. No, I've just seen that, man. What you had in there. It's the same thing. Fuck it. We got 30 people in here. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. And I show, you guys are showing the love. I appreciate that a bunch. Ooh. Yeah, this came in today. <laughs> HLG 65? No. Yeah, 65, yeah. Why'd you call it the QB fucking? What, QB? Well, it is actually a QB because all the things quantum board 65, quantum board 100. God, now it's a QB 100. Up. What is it actually called now? It got like a couple different names for them, which is kind of crazy, but. Yeah, it's version two. The other one I have is the version one. Nice. But it didn't have the mounts for the driver, so every time I bumped this fucking thing, the driver would fall off. It drove me nuts. I duct tape it down. I now you get the smell of, like the duct tape cooking. And uh, I guess it was a place you could download a pattern. Yeah, yep. Yeah, you could print it out and then uh, if you put it down uh, over where it shows you how to do it, and there's like two circles where you can do it. You're gonna want to make sure that you don't just throw but, the uh, on there if it doesn't have the holes. I mean, I oh. see the spot. These, all these spots are the same on my other one. I probably could have drilled the hole right in each one of them and all set. I just didn't want to take the chance. Plus, I was at the time I was like, oh, I'm all set. But after not having it for a few a couple months, I was like, wait a minute. And then, okay. bam, free. Thank you. I guess that was a Christmas present from, I don't know. That's awesome, Venom Growth. Shit. Yeah, I appreciate you guys joining tonight. I really do. Means something else. Honestly. Something else came in the mail today that I ordered. What came in the mail? Do you want to also say? From, also from HLG, but. What happened? I bought these. <clears throat> Doing another light build. Part of a project coming up. By the way, that um, GK 200s working fantastic. I bet. 
Yeah, it's working great. There are five. Those, those autos are going crazy right now. What twenty four forty? The far red initiators. Well, they're far red strips, not initiators. They're far reds, without the initiator, because the initiator thing is dumb. In my opinion, but these are seven hundred thirty meter and meter far red. I can add them anywhere I want. So anything oh, I want, dude, they're really small. They're that's really bad. small. I got four of them, and I already had a driver that runs them. No nine bucks a piece. Yeah, easy way, really and easy. Hard. Now that we know a far red can do. You know what I mean? That that. Oh. Um, Steve, I'll answer Pat's fan's question. Probably he probably has it at least eighteen to twenty four inches above the plants. I actually hang it about thirty inches. Yeah, so there you go. Right around thirty inches. It could go lower, but it's just. Mine right now, my sixty five HLG sixty five, the um, LM three hundred one Bs. I just picked up like last week, the week before. That shit's fantastic, dude. Now it, it, it's probably about thirty inches away from the light itself and uh it loves it loves it dude loves it <coughs> what size tent it's uh two by it's in a two by two by five um yeah so a little over five foot, it's, it's 63 foot it's a 63 inch tent height it's in there and it's hanging you know the length of the the, the uh, hangers that come with it is what will be on it it's not in there right now but my other lights in there still right now yeah. This one's gonna run cooler. That's the thing. It's just... my advice with the those sixty fives. Also, when you put them about thirty inches above, you let them grow into the light. Okay, they're not gonna mm -hmm. stop bleaching out. That's a sixty five. You probably get very close to it once it's established a root zone on a nice, vigorously grown plant. Not something that looks pissed off or you know maybe um, a little too wet and the temperatures aren't right. Everything has to kind of be. In, you know in good standards i think in my opinion anyways that that's when you can have the things set to, to grow and uh you can tell by the internodal spacing if you have that light too far away you will see your plants sprout up and then it'll be like stacked stacked and all of a sudden it has like a fucking inch and a half right. of internodal spacing i mean where the branch does not start from the other branch one branch to the next branch. You know a good period of time where the plant just goes and puts a lot of you know um a lot of uh momentum into nitrogen and phosphorus and stuff like that that is right in the beginning magnesium all kinds of shit that you need the essentials of uh right, early growth you want to make sure if that plant grows into it it's nice and vigorous you growing to and um it's not too hot not you know just too you know less is more until the plant tells you otherwise you may die that's with nutrient uptake you know if you're feeding it and that's also with um the light if you have a really good light you want to make sure that that shit's right there you must stay. want them tight noodle structure yeah if you have that shit too close and the plant likes it still but stacks up like bam 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 it's got fucking seven nodes tall and it's only an inch and a half you may have it a little bit too close it could be strain dependent but once again watch what you do you know plant risk for it <laughs> i've had my fair share of grows man i've grown i'm on my 170 something harvest so far the time the time period i've been growing i think it's 178 dude you told me you don't been growing a year yeah yeah Two months, right? A year and two days, actually. Right. Yeah, see what that plant does. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with like, dude, I've used CFLs, and CFLs you can get closer to, but they run a little bit warm. So you might burn your plants a little bit when they get too, too close. You know, they're not the best lights in the world, but they will get you to where you need to be for, uh, for seedling growth. You know, be, be old school. Think about it. You know what I mean? It's kind of uh, one of those things. So, strike. Oh, shit. Um, there was a product that was using that had that shit. Uh, I can't remember what the fuck it was, though.
probably am right now. I'm off the top of my head. I can't think about that right now. Honestly, great question though, Ginger Snaps. Great question. Because now I'm gonna think about that the rest of the stream. Totally unfocused on whatever else I'm supposed to talk about, which is whatever. So, no, nah, I'm just playing with you. Uh, you yeah. I used to use something that has that shit. <coughs> Slip my mind. I'm not gonna worry about it. Tito is McGee. Four twenty. Put me. Yo, you put me. At, yo, you put him at four hundred subs. So we got. He throws McGee at 400 subs. That's fucking awesome. Keep going, bro. Keep going. And Gilmore jump start, advanced nutrients, Nirvana. So, all right. So, yeah. Uh, bam. There I am. Super Thrive. I got Thrive Alive, Super Thrive. Similar product. Yeah. It's, yep. It's probably, I probably am using it then. I've been doing stuff like this for years, and I, I like to. To, I never used to like to go off the beaten path per se, but I, I really enjoy it now because it makes me feel like I'm growing new again. Like when my, it's like when you get a new light, oh, I gotta obtain a certain temperature and humidity. Is it gonna be able to do it? You know, I love that feeling. It's kind of weird to say, it's like jumping out of an airplane, bro. You know, it's one of those things. You either like it or you don't, and you will know if you like it or you don't when you do it. What the fuck happened there, Pats, man? I just seen you chop that thing in half, bro. Killing plants, man. Killing plants. Uh, yeah. Mm. It's, a, it's a fucking yeah, necessary... B12, it's a right? necessary evil. <laughs> it's a plant... It's like a... um. It's just a regular plant-based nutrient. Like, Thrive Alive has been around and, and Super Thrive and stuff like that. That shit's been around since 1940. No, I'm killing because I got to make room, man. I got to move. Not all these could go in number ones in here. They don't fit. It's just not going to happen. So. Yeah, yeah. I spy it. Yeah. Sell so these, some of them. <coughs> it just gets down to them last choices. You're like, mm. Wild Thrive is really it. Yeah. Yep. It's actually pretty good. I come nowadays good. like to use a lot of different microbes and different things like that. You know, um, not necessarily going towards the organic group. I do I do enjoy growing organic plants. Um, do I do it all the time? No. Have I done it recently? No. <laughs> you know, uh, with hydroponic systems, a little bit harder to obtain um, a reservoir that can have nutrients that do not separate when they are organic. And they will, That's when they start to go anaerobic on you. You know, with certain tea, well, uh, tea brews, like, you know, if you were to brew a tea, it'd be okay. If you have it in a reservoir and you're doing the same shit and it starts to do like that, it, it, you might have some issues right there. So you want to make sure that um, hydroponically you may want to use liquid nutrients, which are, uh, you know, it could be a little bit of organic, a little bit of synthetic, be all synthetic. So the Chabor and Baboon plants, dude, they can, um, they can run. And pretty much whatever you feed them, if it's a the boar or chabor, because the baboon female that I bred them with is super vigorous in the root zone, hundred percent. Like, like if you transplant from a half gallon, you might want to go into a three gallon in two weeks. <laughs> Going, you know what I mean? It just it just goes. Very vigorous root system. A lot of GG4 dominant. Um, so you can feed them. I would say start at like 700, dude. Like no, not from like a baby. You know, I wouldn't go 700. That's kind of crazy. Less is more. But if you're into, um, you got like five, six nodes high, and those are like really, you know, established plants now, and they got say a, a solo cup or a, a rapid rooter or something like that, you you could definitely start pushing in a little bit. You want to transplant it from that point because you don't want to, you know, the smaller the root zone, um, small the area that you're growing in. You know, you, uh, you're probably going to have to make sure that you have a bigger pot size in order to fucking really get through what you're actually trying to accomplish. Because if not, you'll get pissed at you and stunt it out and stop looking all floppy and shit. And you'll be good. Ginger snaps. Yes, uh, I, I can definitely do that. Is uh, I think I still have your email, I believe. Yeah, I still have some of those seeds. The Bora, I'm I don't have too many of. I only have probably about uh, less than a hundred of those. The Chabora, I probably have three hundred and fifty left. 
I made the mistake my first strain out there and just gave a lot of people, you know, uh, doing giveaways and shit like that. My, my strain right off the rip, and I probably should not have. I thought about that beforehand, but I was like, you know what, dude, these people deserve, you know, good growing cannabis, Brazilian, you know, um, short. So why did you give them yours? Huh? So why did you give them yours? <laughs> Because I love this community, man. I want people to have what everybody else has. You know, I need mean, right to train here. something to obtain that they can actually uh, feel confident about, you know. But I, I, you know, I, I got a little bit antsy, and I kind of was like, yeah, let's just give them fucking. Hey, you want to? You know what? I would do a vial of fucking seeds, which is like seventy-five seeds. It's like maybe not everybody needs seventy-five seeds. You know? Oops, my bad. Yeah. That's that was a good one. Touche, brother. But look at this white ash, you guys. Look at that fucking white ash. That's all I gotta say. Bam. Nice. That's right. I haven't really been coughing. It's nice and clean. That's my out. It's my outdoor grow from uh, like last October. You know, that's when I harvested it. So, I'm I'm honestly I wasn't that. I was very impressed by the way the bud grew outside last year. With the conditions we had, we had very very like good conditions, better than normal conditions. Will that happen every single year? Nope. Are you more off to get shitty conditions? Yep. Notice that the last fucking four years I've tried to do this. You know, this is the first year I've actually, you know, this is, dude, that, that outdoor grow where I got two, about two and a half pounds off three plants, just three plants, two and two and a 30 gallon, one and a 15. I ended up getting two and a half fucking pounds of, of uh, cannabis that I was like, hell yeah, this is awesome. And the last couple of years before that, I failed miserably. So and that was, um, Creamsicle OG and Boss OG from Can Genetics. Yeah, before that, man, there wasn't nothing you could have done to make that go out any different than it did. Oh, but I'm really happy that I was able the to. Yeah, uh, before that, I mean, not last year. Yeah, I, dude, I, I had autos out there the year before that. The year before that, I also put a couple of autos out there, and it was like the rain season came in, bro. Just at the wrong time every single year. Um, but yeah, Can Genetics has some really great OG strains that they had crossed. Really great OG strains, resilient. Praying, like, man, these plants would be praying for like six months. I mean, like, dude, for like total, I think in total, I grew the plant 125 days outside, and I had another run of it inside at my other garden, my buddy's house. And that one did not um, really shine through per se, it kind of like. You know, he, we ended up getting problems over there, so we had to re -veg and do this and do that. And I ended up just taking clones off the um, original plants that I started to flower. And if you go back to my videos, you'll see one one garden that I had um, where the plants were probably two and a half weeks in the flower. And then we got thrips. <sighs> not my doing. Not saying it would never happen to me, but it happened to my buddy because he brought external plants into the garden you know from um from foreign locations did not treat them first not quarantine them first therefore we had gut thrips and that was shit oh i remember that fucking terrible remember Took that night i can't fucking out of believe it they were freaking everywhere jumping on everything <laughs> so that sucked that fucking that, that sucked but i was able to get a couple clones off of some flowering plants that were like you know two and a half weeks in the flower three weeks in the flower Dude, stacking up like crazy, praying, looking beautiful. And then all of a sudden, you got fucking eggs and bugs all over. It's like, you shit me. 69, mommy. 95, what's going on? Yeah, that's 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 what happened over there. And I was like, damn, this this uh, this sucks. Because I wouldn't go over to the garden. And uh, normally, I would go help wherever. But, like, you know, during the circumstances at hand, where the person that had my plants in the beginning and um, that that problem occurred, uh, I did not want to go to the garden due to the sole fact that like we have the same time schedule. That person actually uh, obtained a lot of my different, um, a lot of my different strains. 
I would just give them clones all the time. And we would grow the things out, but I did not know what was going on that much behind the scenes, which leads me to now say, if you're going to have an, altern uh, an alternative grow, you know, not like the one that you ought to already have right there, you probably want to make sure that you uh, like get that shit on point, you know, at the other location also. Tell, you know, explain to that. Uh, the Honestly, if you're going to anybody's grow, you should probably Anything. like take some precautions no matter where Super. you go. If anybody's coming into your grow, remember, you don't know what's out there, what they got on their plants. They could be hit uh, like it. Venom grower, if you look up the whole life cycle of a thrip and what they like to thrive in, okay, and what they like to be, be born in and actually, you know, um, with the, what they like to breed in, okay, you will then see that you may be correct in that in that uh, last statement, bro. I will never buy anything from um, bigger stores that have to do with full out like bags of soil, like two cubic foot, you know, even even the smaller bags. You, just because of, this, uh, uh, of the um, the sole purpose that they're obtained in a way different environment from naive people who do not understand the whole growing regimen per se. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm trying to sound, sound too fucking smart here, but like, you know what I mean, guys? Like, if, you, if your shit comes in on a fucking truck and it's in 100 degree heat, it's 150 degrees in the fucking truck, yeah, all right, it might dry out, you know, whatever else. But uh, if it's now outside in the pouring rain on a pallet wrapped in plastic, think about it. Saturation causes gnats, causes all kinds of crazy shit. You really want to have that. I don't know where you got my soil from. That's not going to be the case with every place I go to get any kind of soil or um, a cocoa for that matter or whatever. But I don't want to have somebody taking my fucking products and leaving them outside in the pallet. And I've, I've personally witnessed this, you know, the, this exact example of what I'm talking about. And it's bullshit. Dude, if you're in a garden center and you work for the garden center, say at a Home Depot or a Lowe's, let's throw those guys out there because they're huge. Love them. Fucking go to them all the time. Three times a week I'll be at Home Depot. I'm that guy. <laughs> I won't be going. Why would I not believe that? I, you know I'm that guy, bro. I'm telling you right now. Fuck, I gotta go home, people. I gotta redesign this entire thing. Yeah, uh, I buy things and I can design whatever. Give me the credit card. I'll be back. Yep. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll and I have a account. two hours later. You know, six boxes and a truck. No, nope, no, no. I have to. The, my I've learned in the in the past that that would be the case, Pat's fan. But I need to make sure that I uh, go there with a list. It's like going to a grocery store, dude. And it's like going to a grocery store hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't mm -hmm. want to do it if you don't got a list. I'm telling you, you're gonna buy every fucking thing. You're gonna spend a bunch of money on shit. You know I still that. spend everything even if I got yeah. a fucking list. There you too. go. It doesn't so, make a damn difference list or not. I'll go for a 15 minute <laughs> run, dude, at Home Depot, and laugh my balls off, right? Because of the fact that I'll go in there knowing where everything is. Bam, and I'm there, fucking out the door. Because if I stop and look, I will buy 50 bucks worth of more shit that I don't fucking need. Well, think I don't have, and I probably do already have. Not that you don't need it, you just don't need it right now. No, but I will think of the, you know, the. the I could use that. I could future. use it, and I'm here, and it's here, and I have right. this moment. Near future, where I'm fucking wanting to do something, where I'm just like. Get that fucking credit card burning in your pocket. Spend me, spend me. I can't tell you how much fucking stuff I bought at Home Depot. Goddamn, man, it's kind of it's okay. Spend me. Over the years, over the. It is, man, since I was like 18, 19 years old. Shit, yeah. A lot. A lot of stuff. Love it. It's so crazy because, like, I'll just go there and be like, yeah, I need 12 feet of PVC for no reason whatsoever. But then I'll need that shit a month down the line. I'm like, yes, I have it here. But since then, it's sat in my fucking room making, you know, cluttering up shit or whatever. So it is what it is. But, yeah, prime example of what not to buy is from – Big retail stores that may not take care of their products that they get. Yeah. Um, you want to get aphids in your house? Buy, buy a plant in front of really place and bring it home. Grower like me to buy their shit because I'm not trying to fucking burn my, you know, burn my fucking plants. Uh, you know, do a bunch of other stuff. You know. BPD. That's right. Right. Some good shit. Like you know. Um, these are all examples that I'm, that I'm giving you guys are from from prior knowledge of my grows way before. Because, you know, things happen. You only learn from experience. 
this plant is um there's so many different variations of genetics that it, 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 it just a base point is hard to obtain when you have all the strains you can have it's crazy i mean we have the world at our fingertips per se when it comes down to cannabis we have so many different elite strains that we could do and that, that yeah that's one reason why i love cocoa also because i can put a, a seed in, in the cocoa that's you know a clean whatever even if it's a brick i can clean it myself if i need to you know in some cases i have in other cases i've learned that um there's good products in the market that are, are really easy to obtain and um going to be super beneficial for your garden because of the sole purpose of that they're not all fucked up when you're getting them you're not getting them in a brick that's been dried out in a warehouse for fucking five years and blowing dust off the package these are good companies that have actually put out great products or have been the middleman for great products to that way the uh, the grower at hand can obtain the uh greatest amount of um like nutrients or cocoa or soil that's the freshest shit possible you want it to last a long time you don't want stuff off the shelf that's fucking two years old you gotta use right now not saying it wouldn't work but there's an expiration date for a reason okay kill me but yeah 420 420 without failure there can be no success two sides of the same coin named life well fucking said bro 100 you have to have experience you have to have failure not saying every every grow has to you know some people are less fortunate than others and they'll have all their failures at the beginning that sucks fuck that i want to have a couple good grows not to you know i want to be ambitious about the next one at hand you know and not not fucking to be sitting there you know uh <laughs> going through life struggles for instance right darkness grows right love the dude he's an awesome fucking dude been falling for years it's not had a lot of misfortune with his gardens due to life circumstances like real life circumstances like the guidance on point you may have gone away for a vacation you know it's things like that you have to really be able to um maintain a great garden but still have to have a life which means if you have to go automation you may have to go automation with that you have to have experience in order to do that so if you're a new grower that's got a lot of stuff going on don't think it's going to get any easier unless you take the time and that's that's that is the damn truth 100 percent. because if you do not it's going to be a failure option it's going to be on that table weighing out the, the good options every single time I'm not saying you don't have a life don't go out and not have a fucking life you want to go camp with the family i do too do i want to not be do i want to be away from my plants that i water every single fucking day negative do i want to think of a system that may work uh, in the process of me going out to vacation where I don't have to stress about it. Yeah, of course. You got to get experience with that shit, though. Good sources and, you know, reputable sources to have are the, the growers that are at, uh, that can tell you the best. Like the Blue Mass system, this and that. You know, ones that you trust. You, you learn to trust. It's different. Yeah, Ginger Snaps, you know, you, you know the deal. I've had my fair share of uh, failures you know, I've had a couple of them on YouTube so far. I have never failed. I am perfect. And that, that right there, I'm just saying it's a lie. If you're, a, <laughs> if you're an outdoor grower, you've experienced failure. If you're in New England, I have never failed at anything. <laughs> fucking failure, bro. It's how you learn, though. It's how you learn. You don't want to. You don't want to fail every time. It's not a good. I've never failed. It's a terrible feeling. Never it's never like failed. playing a sport never. and lo and losing every time. I don't it, play sports. You suck. can fail at it. You the to secret to not failing. failing is don't try anything. And right. You can't fail. You gotta pick yourself up and you got to fucking do it again. And that sucks with a lot of stuff nowadays where people, are, uh, the industry is getting so big and, and so vast so quickly that you have these people that try to sell you and oversell you a lot of different products, right? Because they've established a store. You know what I mean? It's their business now. That's their life, okay? They're trying to make money. Understandable. Get that shit out of your head. Everybody needs to make money, okay? There's a bottom line. There's a fucking, you're going overboard, bro. Like, let me, as a grower, if I was to sell products, I'd probably be a terrible businessman because of the fact that I wanted, I would want you to obtain the best nutrients and best things possible where I don't have to, you know, overcharge you shit like crazy. Where you're going to come over to me and go, dude, I saw this on fucking in, uh, on Amazon for like eight bucks cheaper. Why? 
Why is that? And you have to explain. Because that. we don't have the amb overhead that Amazon has. Right. And well, I, you do, but not, you don't. It's for all you. I get it. I get it. But being a person who wants the same deal as the other guy on the other end, I'm telling you right now, you're going to want it. It, it gets kind of. I know. I know. I know. It's, it's a fine line to juggle, bro. And it kind of sucks to say that. But, you know, you got to feed your family and whatever else. But yep. at the same time, as you, you got to draw a line somewhere. Especially so. when people just go home, jump on the computer, and buy it on there for cheaper money. My little piece of heaven. The only person that's going to definitely come in and spend that money is somebody that needs it now. That wants to do something now. Instant gratification. Exactly. God help us when freaking Amazon can do that. Well, like, you know, gratification. Yeah, I need this. Cling, ling, ding, ling. Right. Here you go, sir. Tell me you haven't gone to a hydro store, right? Or maybe you haven't, Pastor, because you have a certain few that you go to. And you uh, actually trust now. And you have probably since the beginning. And, um... But other people who come into a store and not even from the area, whatever else, and they go into a hydroponic store, they're going to want to leave with something, with one, knowledge probably, two, products that they didn't have to pay and feel like they got raped by, uh, three, um, not being told certain shit that is not going to be true. Like, dude, you can grow a fucking pound off this. It's your first time ever growing anything in general because that's going to be a total elaborate line of bullshit. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. You tell someone that. Not, they that, that, not that it doesn't happen. They spend $1,500. Yeah. It has happened. Now, don't get me wrong. Some people got green thumbs. Some you people know, are lucky. You don't want to spend $1,500 on a fucking light, you know, or $1,000 on a light, you know, all this great stuff that you can, you know, obtain at a fucking, at a, at a hydroponic store or a grow, you know, grow store that you can literally feel like you left there like, I'm going to do something great. And then when you, don't get that product in that amount that you wanted to and that quality you wanted to you end up getting your fucking sh you're feeling shattered and it's terrible you feel like you can lie to there's a terrible feeling in there because i don't want to feel spent off products that i bought from a, a place where i felt like that i was doing you know i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get this and they, they fed you lines of bullshit and whatever else shoot low aim high as i always say because that's gonna be a lot more beneficial to your well-being as a grower or an up-and-coming grower than anything else would be man i want to get fucking two ounces off these plants do it's all man it's a, give me a qp of four plants an ounce per plant yeah it seemed like a very low number don't get me wrong but you think of it like this think of it like this you had you had an ounce right you get off of four plants and now you get eight ounces off this so means you get two per plant per se wow you doubled your shit you wanted to go for you, how do you feel about that Way better than you would feel about, man, I'm going to get six ounces per fucking plant. Here we go. And then you end up failing miserably and you get a fucking half ounce per plant because something went wrong, you know, in the middle of your growth. What's wrong with a half ounce of plant? Nothing's wrong with it if you shot for that goal. <laughs> Aim low, shoot high. That's a, the truth in the matter right there because if you want to fucking sit there and, uh, you know, you might have that ability to do that. Don't get me wrong. You might have the dude might tell you, you might get, yeah, hey, you're gonna get a pound off these uh, off this one light, and you might fucking pull a pound or more. Quality of the product probably can improve 100. percent You know, that's I don't know though because of the fact that um, yeah, you, you know, some people got green, some people don't. So, Tory Strand, appreciate that. I try to just give you know, I, I try to give a lot of knowledge of. My, my prior grows and what I've what I've um, been able to learn along the way little things that, that go a long way that should have said and done couch and grows very true no point in saying you're gonna pull a pound when anything can happen anything can happen anything literally like anything be a, be a basement grower and have your dehumidifier go out of the whack on in the middle of summer yeah. Even in the winter when it's real dry. Anything. Anything can happen. You stop veering off um, that, those normal levels. Have your, start... lights not, have your lights not shut off for three days. Yeah. Hey, how, how, about you have a tele how about you have a car smash your fucking telephone pole, clip it in half, right? Bust that bitch in half. And then you have a little flicker of power, which resets your timer and puts it on an automatic cycle. I mean, um, on, on, on like an on cycle rather than automatic. Where you, where you have the ability to set the timer. You already had set a timer, but you had that little power blip that screwed you. Been there, 
five yeah. weeks did that. Okay. Five fucking weeks. I, I know. I asked, dude, that was the time I had the PM. Remember that shit? When we found out the light was on, um, on for like an extra so long. Yeah, and I was giving him shit. And when you know, a day later, I'm like, fuck, I did the same thing. You did the same thing. I did, I did it for way long. I caught mine earlier, though. I caught mine early. The thing with mine, it was, pro- it, was, it was stretching, it was getting thick, and I'm like, there's no buds on it. This is weird. Why is this weird? I had my timer set for when I was at work. I didn't really get to see when I was, you know, um, been able, you know, being able to turn on. You know, uh, now I have capabilities to record that, that shit, you know, by my phone, get an email, or whatever it may be. You know, um, but before I didn't have that. So I didn't realize the extra six or seven hours that I was on before I got home. And then realize that hey, it's on for 18 hours rather than fucking 12. This is not good. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, and um, I've had I've been using battery backups since 2004. They were really expensive back then, by the way. I will say that. Um, I used them when I first started aeroponics. I didn't go right into soils and shit like that and cocos. I went into aeroponics, and um, that's what I did my first times around you know i made made i built my own systems um i got really involved in it as far as the education goes and on um, the knowledge uh, you know in books and seeing how those systems worked and i was like you know what i can fucking make this i can make this i want to make it and i did growing that was a whole different story you know my first grows weren't the greatest uh but they weren't terrible um, not by any means but they weren't up to par where i would want to be now but throwing them at my first grows and being substantially ahead of my time for what it was worth, it was hard. You know, try talking to aeroponics on, on, on uh, you know, 17 years ago, fucking <laughs> on AOL 3.0. Don't work very well. 3.0, I remember that. You know what I mean? It just doesn't. It, 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 that throw you right off of AOL the second you mentioned the word cannabis, anyways. You got to go in a chat room and all those guys over there. You have to go to private chat. Yeah. And then you have to know somebody. So it's like, you know, we didn't have the information like that besides books and um, not sound like an old guy or whatever else. But when you start at 19 years old, 18 years old, you know, uh, you know, you get to learn a lot of stuff fast, especially if you don't have anybody to teach you at hand. So you have to just make sure that you uh, can have that. A few magazines and some books. Extra library about growing. Yeah, you, you could use it though. I mean, you definitely could lose a pound from, from bugs or caterpillars, you know, tree lines being certain distance away, knowing how the caterpillars actually, you know, um, will have that little silk web that comes down and fucking, you know, those silk strands and they're floating in the wind on how far they're going to uh, go. It's not hard to lose half your harvest outside in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Get yeah, spider mites. A day and a half, you're fucked. Inside or outside. Get rusted mites in California, you're fucked. A lot of people just cut that shit down done my little piece of heaven you are awesome by the way i got your meal call right here thank you very much i really appreciate you that means a, you know that, what's going that on little piece of heaven didn't expect everybody it. Chat. i'm not yeah. ignoring you i'm just kind of great people mixing right? this try to get warmed up you know i didn't even expect it i was like what the fuck is this i didn't know what or anything I look at that i'm like shook my head like Alakazam! I really appreciate that, honestly. The past fans like I got one too. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, no, fuck, whatever past man. I was happy about it for that ten fucking minutes. Why well, you should be happy, man? I am. Uh, anything autos? He wouldn't autos. send you them to you autos. if he didn't like you. Anything in general? He would have sent the seed packs full of aphids if he didn't like you. Besides. Did you send that like I asked you to? No, just kidding. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <it's> 10 p.m. <coughs> Here's a big leaf you pull out. It's all moldy. What the fuck? <laughs> Make sure you open this in your garden. Some, like that with some, the sne- with some sneezing powder on it. So you take it out and you instantly sneeze on it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> right. I could see Kossi coming. Everything in the cell is out. The whole room's bare. He's in there fucking cleaning it. It's fucking PM in here. 
Yeah, right. What the fuck is this? What is what is this? Oh, Bro, get down oh, here and help me get everything out of here. Hurry up. <laughs> oh my god, that would be terrible. I can't tell you what I would I would probably make a hate video at that point and I don't hate anybody, but I'll tell you right now, if you send me a fucking leaf of PM and I pull that bitch out, I'm gonna make a video of me burning that shit. And then like you name it in the gasoline next to it, okay? Because that's just and the next thing will be have a picture of me sitting outside in front of your right, in front of your house that are gonna mail to you. <laughs> a little fucking selfie right in front of your house. <laughs> it costs Email it to him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Alan Teddy, what's up? What's going on, bro? See, <sighs> sleepless in Seattle. That's wonderful. Right, but like, I remember this lady. I'll remember this the day I fucking died. When I was working at the grocery store. Um, every single weekend for like a year and a half, right? Um, I had this lady walk in, and nothing against her. She wanted to know a problem. She she had the the evidence at hand. Um, then she she just reach into her her fucking Versace <laughs> bag or something, and then pull out this fucking massive leaf that had PM all over it, and I could see it floating. I shit my pants, damn near. I was like, oh fuck me. I literally grabbed the bag from my left hand and wrapped it over her hand and tied it all in like fucking two seconds. And I was like, we're going to walk backwards out the door. And she looked at me with this ungodly look in her fucking eyes like, what the fuck is this guy doing right now? <laughs> Am I going to die? <laughs> wrapped his hand. You, you just wrapped my fucking hand like it was a gun. You know, like, you know what I mean? I was what the hell just happened? And it happened just like that. And I walked her right back, back out of the store. And then I said hey okay you know we were downwind at that point and uh these are all the things that are going through my mind because i had a garden and it was full full in fucking like third week of bloom and i'm like this is this isn't happening like i'm gonna have fucking spores all over my clothes and, and i'm just it's gonna be a bad situation and uh, it, it ended up not being a bad situation thank god um but i don't think everybody would do what i did at this at that certain time wrap her hand up in the bag real quick walk her backwards out of the store like what the fuck I mean, this thing when I say it was covered in PM, I, um, and then suddenly was there was a note covered. at the door: "Please covered. not bring any leaves, bugs, or insects." Yeah, I had to put signs up to it. Leave your leaves at home. You know what I mean? Like, sorry, if you got a problem, come in and talk about it. Not take a take, take, a, take a fucking picture. Take a whole Don't, bunch of really close up pictures. Of yeah, like you, you got, you know, we have cameras nowadays. What's up? You know, Mother Nature, what's going on? Mother, but crazy shit. She brought that leaf in, and it was a huge leaf, and it just it was. I mean, the, to the whole top surface looked like it was covered in PM. Like this problem was bad. Like she must have cut him out. I wouldn't even want to know what her garden looked like. At, you know, at that point, I, seeing this thing, I'm like, that, that is, that is fucking covered. Like, there's no way I wasn't bringing it home. Mm. You know, and uh, yeah, that I'll never forget that as long as I live. So you know this. Different things you can definitely come in contact to and be screwed by really quickly. Really quick. Like I'm always worried of people coming to my garden or coming to my house or whatever else. I'm not trying to say, hey, yeah, take your shoes off, take your fucking pants up, put it, put this uh, put this paint suit on. Because we, you know, don't forget your mask. You know, no, that's not how the garden works, okay? I don't want you walking in with, a, you know, if you have a garden of your own and you. Hey, here's the full sterile suit. Please get in it. Yeah. I need a blood sample. I need a sample of your hair, I'll DNA get, sample. I'll hand you a garden phone, I want to call it, right? You sit in that room right there. Old cell phones, right? It has the cameras on it. And I'm going to walk you through a private fucking YouTube, uh, you know, whatever. There we go. Stand Please go through those doors. No, that's that's fucking creepy, bro. Paint, a paint suit is a good idea. Don't get me wrong. You have a huge garden and you are coming from multiple gardens. You probably want to... Um, Invest in Don't worry, man. We're going to send large portions of radioactive it's, materials through your body. It won't hurt you. Do that. Do that. That. that it, it, it's crazy in a lot of cases. My 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 biggest pet peeve is don't let your pets in, around you grow. I know you love your dogs. I know you love your fucking cats, but they can be transmitted, uh, transporters of fucking mites and different things like that. You know what I mean? Honestly, especially if you have a dog or a cat that runs around outside and shit. Be aware. That's all. 
No, I love no, 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 no. no less. But they're not coming in the garden. Fuck that. Spent too much time. Hi, Mother. How are you? Mother Nature, you are incredible, by the way. I watch Mother Nature, you're doing a fantastic fucking yeah. job. I just want to let you know that. You really are. Yeah. I'm not just saying that. Fucking, you she's pimping that. Now. She is pimping that shit. Nah, dude, she had a great show the other day that had to do with the coronavirus that had a lot of educated mm -hmm. people on it that really explained a lot about that shit. And I was very impressed. Mm. Didn't comment very much. I think I said hi or something one time, but uh, yeah. Good, great show. Yeah. You have a very good mindset when it comes down to uh, picking certain people for your shows. Sure. Much love to you. Mama, I killed a man. Fuck, fuck, man. Ooh. Yeah, we got 36 people in here. It's 3.36 in the morning. I know. What are all you people doing, man? Right? You, guys, you guys are awesome. Y'all 420 vamps, aren't you? I'm part of the 420 vamp club. Yeah, from three sides opposed to actually getting in. Exactly. I do I do uh, agree with that in some cases. You know, depending on the situation. I know you appreciate that. You do a great job, and I feel like uh, everybody should really know that. You know, I've been Mother Nature. Yeah. Me and Mother Nature go way back. You know, she's was, real, man. She's real. Yeah, she's she's an awesome real. person. Painting my ass. A great a great host. You know, puts her her, her whole her whole heart into things, and uh, and just, just don't let her on your life. She'll scare everybody away. <laughs> no, she does a great amount of um, uh, good informative lives and stuff. For sure. I'm just kidding, Mother Nature. Always professional. Seriously, please. Yeah, it's twelve thirty seven. See, it's, I've always been catering to fucking California people. <laughs> Guess I'm a California person at heart, right? Fucking traitor. Take him up back and hang him. Take knowledge. I'm just chilling. Hang him, put him in a box, and send him to California. That would bury him next to John Wayne. I seem like I'm going too quick for you guys and just jumping from subject to uh, subject. To subject. Let me know. I'll back up and relay whatever you guys want me to, to, you know, say. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to help. I don't know everything. I never said I did. I love talking about growing because I'm very passionate about it. And I definitely um, feel Hey, like Action Jackson. How are you, brother? Good to see you, man. We love you, too. I love this whole community, honestly. The shit we did today for... Uh, my boys over there. We got smoking Sid and um, Farmer 420. Dude, we've done tons of shit like that. Michelle's kids had to get to their father's funeral. No, but like, all right. So today was a, today was a different nature of the ball game, bro. Okay, so no, nothing was ever said or mentioned about any kind of donations toward this person or wanting wanting anything. Was, right. Nothing, nothing. It's just like we we came in and raided him and just started throwing money at the dude. Yeah, because he, you know. He never said, you know, he was just having a bad day or whatever else. But he wasn't ranting about it. He wasn't doing nothing about it. You know what I mean? He was just being a real person. And I think that that's what helped uh, a lot of it. And uh, I started it off with a four, uh, $4.20 donation, you know, just because it was found with 420. And, um, and it went from there, and it went quick. And so I can tell you right now that um, knowing some information behind the scenes, uh, I we, we did a great fucking job today, not knowing yeah, anything. Come on, man. That's what we do so, in this community. That's what we do. We come in and we do good, um, graceful fucking... <clears throat> We've helped people's know. kids get to their father's funerals. We've helped right. bury people. Yeah. We've, We've had a lot man. of different occasions. You know, they, you guys helped my daughter when she was two weeks old. Helped you, yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's where this all stems from. It's like, you know, that's why I did what I did. And that's why I do what I do. Right. Because I feel as if um, everybody should be able to... to um, to have the opportunity, you know, if um, you're a good person and whatever else, and you're spreading that love and you, you know, you, you're doing what you do, you know, and you're being true to yourself and true to this community and whatever else, everything will work out. And it's good karma in general. You know, I didn't do this today for any kind of recognition whatsoever. You know, I, I donated quite a few times today, you know, and I thought that was um, a, a, a great thing that we were going towards. And I had no idea what the fuck we were even going towards. I just knew that this guy was genuine, genuinely, um, very very happy and appreciative and that felt fucking i caught like the last freaking so good felt one so minute good. of it 
you know, I mean, I cried when, when you guys helped my daughter out when she was two weeks old and she couldn't eat, you know, because she needed surgery, you know, and I gave back to the community and all notes on that one. And I always have, and I was before that anyways. And like, you know, it just, it, it means the world when you can have it returned and it's, you may not know why, but it feels good. So no doubt. Good shit. Texas OG. Now building a flower light, bro. Cutty Mac. That's right. Catherine makes good lights. He's got some good products coming out of it. Real deal yeah, shit. I, I built a couple of cobs in Texas already. Just talk to him. Look at that. Yeah, right, Mother Nature. Get out of here. You're trying to make me all blush because you just okay. make me blush. Thanks. I appreciate that. It is all the way in the floor. Thank you so much. Look at that. $4.20. I appreciate you. are awesome. Thank you. Blind. Put a smile on my face. I feel good. I'm blind, too. Feel good. So, you guys, I don't ask for any kind of donations. It is what it is. Like, I just, I like to give and. See, see people succeed rather than people fail and um, have to deal with other things, you know, drama and shit. It's always going to be things in every community that we have on, on private platforms. And that's how shit's going to be. We have to realize that and you have a certain few you stick with. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're not down with this community, then hey, yeah, that's, you. that's how shit goes. If you don't want to be down with the community, I, I, I get it. You know, and that kind of makes a lot of sense uh, for whatever your purpose is. But this guy right here, I'm staying right the fuck here. I mean, I like this community. I like it a lot. Met a lot of great people. Helped me a lot in life. You know, gave me a lot less anxiety to worry about. Gave me a social life. You know, someone who works a second shift and I get to see the light of day for not that long out of the day. You know what I mean? So, I'm working second shift over there. So, what up, Henry Outcast? I have caught them up like crazy. I need a drink. What's going on, family Outcast? We can back up, Mo. Holy shit. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I'm I'm stoned. I'm about to get more stone. And I'm gonna do the thing. Talk say, about what up, guys. Just say no to drugs, kids. I'm talking too much. You guys just fucking throw questions in there. Let's talk about something else, whatever it is, you know. I do appreciate you guys all watching. Me. Hulk smash. Shout out Weed Wars right there for that fucking picture like so long ago. Mini Hulk smash. <laughs> I know it's not going to be no fair. I just know it. Oh. Bro. Going on, Texas, Texas. And the grow is in here. Who else is here? Oh, Collius Grows is here. Polish Slammer. He's here. Yeah, um, honestly, the 420 community, um, there's a lot of different little groups pertaining to that. Some people are, uh, you know, uh, there is, I mean, a bunch of different groups. Shit, you might have said this. I, don't even, I, I find them all the time when they have. You just you know you find a certain group of people that you um get comfortable with you, you know you vibe with you click with you know and you feel good about it where you want to come on this this uh this platform and you want to succeed in you know your abilities to spread knowledge or whatever it may be for whatever purpose you might be doing it for you know it's a lot of different things on this, this platform that you can uh, actually do and different groups and whatever so Meeting a lot of you people from this community, you know, being 420 community as far as cannabis goes and shit, and showing love and appreciation to other communities that have to do with not even necessarily this shit, but like just that 
are uh, in it for the same reason we are. You know, there's there's racing communities, you know, fucking drag racing communities and stuff like that. That I I, lo I love cars and I love all this other shit, and I watch those. You get to meet cool ass people. They appreciate that you know that you, that you grow, but they don't do that. And I like what they do, but I do. You know what I mean? Like so, you know, there's a happy medium between everybody, and I think that's uh, what you got to do. You know, around this whole YouTube thing is keep an open mind. You know that there's a, uh, a lot of different people that are intrigued by a lot of different things. I know that I don't fucking race cars, but like, I like watching it. So who might say you can't watch cannabis? You know, uh, now you might like what I'm doing. So I, it's definitely good meeting people. There's probably fucking a billion people on fucking YouTube. I mean, that's probably a crazy number, but like there's definitely millions of people on YouTube. A lot of a lot of great creators on here that just grow so quickly and have awesome content. So it's like, fuck yeah. So for this little community that I've met over like, you know, thousand people or 150 people or <coughs> fucking five, people, whatever it may be, you know, going from range to range, you know, whatever. It, it's like, it, it's just such a good fucking community to do whatever, you know, meet people, good people too. In my opinion, I think we have probably the most giving community out there for sure so and the answer your question jazz yeah i'm smoking boo-boo bro you know it it's that boo-boo you sent them remember oh, wait, so yeah, of course yeah you know he sent me that shit a while ago let it cure finally <clears throat> good shit drives that shit in his moldy basement <laughs> that's a more Ah, that's right. <laughs> four twenty, four twenty. Ain't that the friggin' truth, bro? Jazz Warrior has quite the setup, you guys. Okay, he doesn't that's show it that much. I will say that, but uh, I know what he's got going on over there. And do you think I have a lot of fucking tents? He's missed a ten tent. He's at eight. He's almost at the actual ten. Yeah, I don't have eight. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have um, was it like four four tents that I can do anything in right there? One dry tent in a grow box, so it's called four and a half. You know, but he has got quite a fucking system, bro. So good shit. <laughs> Alan Teddy, good. There you go, buddy. That's good shit. Don't be sorry, Mother Nature. Yeah, I spy. You know, I've noticed that there's uh, there's been flurries of it in the last couple of years. Honestly, no bullshit. Where it's uh. When you first uh, get to experience uh, the, the different YouTube flurries of drama and stuff like that, it, it really becomes a burden on, you know, some people's well-being. Because if you make this stuff a, a real part of your life where you're really trying to grow your channel, you know, and um, give out good information and just, you know, be a good cr YouTube creator, you then learn that there's fucking trolls out there. And there's people that have a lot of hate in their fucking body that should not have that much hate in their body. For what the hell that you're doing should not mean shit to that person. But people always have an opinion, and opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Some smell worse than others. And that's a God-given truth. And um, that's, you know, when you're, when you're putting yourself out there on, on, on broadcasting television, for Christ's sakes, you know what I mean? You, uh, you end up getting, you know, a fair share of people sometimes. Sometimes you might just label something very, very correctly in that YouTube title and you fucking get a, you know, a couple hundred thousand hits. It's nuts. And you're like, what for? And it's because you named it correctly. You know what I mean? But then it, with the good, you get the bad. And you have to oh, yeah. accept that. And if you don't, guess what happens? Either one, you're going to quit. Or two, you're going to go through it and uh, weigh, out the, weigh out your options as far as shit, shit it to fan goes. You know, and um, <laughs> in relative speaking, I guess, you know, you're fucking, it's how it is. So people that are out there right now feeling like you aren't getting anywhere, 
because of the drama and, it, and you know, it's bothering you it's bothering me too okay what you have to do is not allow it to to overrule things in your life to get you you worked up that much because once it does that they've won so just try to keep in, uh, a positive mind and continue to do what you originally came on here to do with with better intentions than the next every video you want to improve on everything you want to improve on so just, you got to do it you know and, and, and trust me when i tell you certain circumstances in on my youtube uh personally have affected me in big ways where i where i want not wanted to go live not wanted to do whatever else and you, you know what i mean it kind of just gets uh it gets shitty but guess what you know you, you work through those things and you get that shit it's like the person with the one thumbs down i mean I, you know it's all right I, I i appreciate your opinion thank you very much so definitely uh even if it does suck yeah it is what <laughs> it is we all have opinions bro i think we all get one of them it's just i think it's probably Fucking, i, I honestly i i, I love the up and downs bro i think it's i think it's great you know what i mean you, we all have opinions dude if i don't like something yeah. i'm not gonna thumbs down but hey it is what it is it is it's straight you know all i know is i like to come on here to socialize and um i really appreciate a lot of you guys in the community for sure still got 39 fine people in here right now let's change up the background real quick smoke this last blunt and then uh, i'll let you guys go it might be before 4 20 because i'm getting kind of tired going to be getting a couple hours of sleep a night my kids got uh growth spurts going on you know we got three and one and a half three and a half and one and a half so they're both growing very vigorously and uh it's getting kind of crazy so they uh waking up in the middle of the night screaming and shit so it's getting kind of, you're kind of nuts from pain yeah and growth like like my three year old came up to me today. I, how do you how do you tell a three year old what to do? Right, you know, uh, as far as she's like, Daddy, my legs hurt. I'm like, where do they hurt? She's like, in the back of my in the back of my knees. I'm like, okay. So I you know I rub her legs for a little while and whatever else. Try to you know try to put her at ease. Um, and and basically it it gets uh you know. I had them when I was a kid. Man, I used to get them so bad when I was young. I remember when I was four and a half when I first started getting them, really really bad, and it was terrible. And uh, shit, it was it was just like, you know. God bless the fact that she's very uh, patient with me. Never mind me with her. So it's good stuff. It's all gravy, right, Mother Nature? Of course. <laughs> Animus, huh? What the fuck? Ran out of Wi-Fi. Now my yeah, random grind hash. Hell yeah, bro. Great stuff. Yeah, there's no reason for the name calling and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like this just uh, uh it's not necessary, you know what I mean? Like, what 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 does that have to benefit? Making you feel better about you know, that, that's all that really comes down to it. Like what else is there? You know, if you're gonna be sitting out there fucking hating, it's crazy to America one, what's going on, you know that point you shrug it off and that's it look i was just watching that one thumbs down jump from zero to one so someone's out there fucking with me so that's you know oh, yeah, like, 24 20. is what it is i love all you guys equally so it doesn't really make a difference you know what i mean he says that to everybody Ooh. Jazz that? warrior. That's more like rocks than perlite. That's funny. I watched it go from 28 to 27. <laughs> like, I watched that shit, you guys. I'm not going to lie. If I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't. You know what I mean? I think you guys might know that. So I'll look at it like, oh. oh, oh. What up, Triple C? What's going on, bro? Triple C. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I spy exactly.
Truth. Truth, American one. Exactly true, bro. 100%. That's just what happens, though. You know what I mean? Everybody, like I said before, everybody has the right to an opinion. Agree or disagree. It's whether or not you have a certain standard you want to put yourself through where you're not like, you know, me personally, I don't smash thumbs down. I don't, I, you know, if I don't like it, move the fuck along. That's how it is. But I get it. It's there for a reason. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? Regardless, it's a view and what it, you know, it doesn't really make that, that too much of a difference. Still came on here to see when I was putting out. If you didn't like it, hey, whatever, you know. I tried. Those um triple C, those do those plants coming along pretty good, man. Um, the butt production is definitely slowed down quite a bit, so it definitely went into seed production. If you can already see a seed sack, then I think that you're already on the way there, bro. 100, like for sure, because uh, that slowed down drastically. So that would must have been pollinated in probably day 14 of flower if not like right after that point so that's a the just like the mother baboon was bro that baboon wanted to be bred i mean gave me 550 seeds off both strains i made off that plant so, um cuts off the mother plant so yeah it gave a quite a bit of seeds off a fucking two foot tall plant Yeah, dude, you actually thought I was some tall, skinny fucking dude. Here I am, like this, you know, hundred and fucking ninety-seven pound, <laughs> fucking five foot three dude. And you're like, I thought you were tall and skinny. It's like, thanks for saying I wasn't skinny. I love you too. Shit, but like, <laughs> yeah, I got. Yeah, no, I, I'm not, not at all. It's, it's fucking funny. What? Oh, the LED. What? The LED shipments? No shit, bro. That's fucked up. Tito's McGee. What happens when you tap on an amount of sand? What? What are we talking about? Yeah, you do that, you get a donation, I think, right? Yeah, well, I'm just letting you know, bro, that that baboon is a very dominant plant in that in that uh, that structure of what you're growing out there. I looked at all three phenos you had today, and I can tell you right now that um, I at least one of them is definitely hash plant, but the other two tend to veer off towards baboon and Mickey Dora. So, oh yeah. You send money? What you talking about? Tito's. The bottom right there, there's a little dollar sign, I think. I don't know if it's still available. I think I had it on. Oh, it's still there. Sure. What the fuck? Come on, what am I doing with my screen yet? Shit. Change the background real quick. Let's see what's going on here. It's 4 a.m. I think I'm yeah, you guys are awesome. There's been like 30 something people in here for the whole entire time I've been on. Yeah. Awesome. I appreciate that a real, real lot. Honestly, thank you so much. An hour and 40 minutes? Holy fuck, dude. What am I been talking about? Rambling on, Pats fans got his whole garden rearranged. Fucking move three tents, he built a fucking dorm, bunk beds, and uh, he's putting stuff on the bottom bunk right now. 
He sleeps in that tent, you people. Yep, right on the top shelf. Is it the one over there? He may have, he may or may have not had uh, grabbed the idea from Grokowski um, to get that tent right there. I'm not really sure, but I think that's the way it worked. Um. <clears throat> um. Jazz Warrior, you too. No, bro? no, no. It was. Uh, it yeah, was, yeah, um, yeah. I had that before. Cash Info that told me about it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ashy's been good lately, bro. He's uh he's coming around. I like him. He's, he's all right. He's all right. <laughs> Give him five minutes. <laughs> he's all right. He's, he's good. He's a dude, oh, man. He's good. Yeah. He plays good PlayStation games, you know. Just a little too much of that Canadian water up there. It's probably way cleaner than what we drink. Anyways, we don't talk shit, so it's all right. Who's we'll talking shit? Oh, yeah. Oh, way too much soil in there. What the hell am I thinking? Having fun learning from knowledge bombs, bro. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, I drop those. I'm not sure why, but um, I just I, I got ADHD, you guys, and I'm not trying to blame that shit on things, but uh, I talk a lot. Pat's was in the hotel. I think he fell asleep while I was talking one time. Yeah. Harvest Cup, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So... Me and Grode had a yeah, couple of on, uh, Yeah. Just kept going, 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 bro. I don't fucking stop sometimes, you know? Get me feeling good. Nice and medicated, and I'm fucking off and going. Yeah, I took pain meds and fucking went to La La Land. what I did. Polish hammock in the fucking house. What's up, brother? That plant yeah. looks fantastic, by the way. That Leroy? Love yeah, it. Yeah, it looks good, man. That looks really yeah, good. 100%, man. I have had not... The greatest success in the last few times I've tried to pop Leroy. But uh, I do have Marin Flats and Leroy growing right now, which is big hazard kush. So I can honestly say that I'm very happy about that for sure. Seeing how that fucking Leroy was puts me back to about a year and a half ago when I grew the Leroy by itself. Holy shit. I really miss that. Some greasy ass shit, man. It's uh, bushy and just know that you have something that's so... So, uh, elite, I would say, because the fact that you can look on Phylos Bioscience, right? That shit literally is in a category by itself. And that's fucking crazy to me. That's fucking crazy to me that, that that's nuts. I've never seen anything. All the strains I look up have some kind of genetic variations that, you know, the closest relatives to that, you know, those certain strains when actually tested out in the laboratory. And this thing does not have anything near it it's by itself it's fucking incredible shout out assembly genetics for sure dude eat that mushroom go the rabbit hole bro that's what you do <laughs> the ducky went down the hole that's right bro I have ADHD in the worst way. It's uh, actually super annoying. Yeah, and I feel as if I get to that point sometimes too where, like, you know, I get, you know, a little overbearing on the uh, just talking the fuck away and just not stop. My mind works. And it goes sometimes off. it's the smoke you're smoking too, though, you know? Yeah, my mind goes off, though, and it just you goes get some off. good bro. smoke and you just fucking sit there and jaw, 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 jaw. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You know, if uh, I see a good result, like like tonight was a great, great stream already. So, um, you know, I appreciate that a whole bunch. Like just me sitting there talking about whatever. You know, you guys ask me a question, I go in you know, critical detail with that shit. It kind of makes me feel better because it keeps me on top of my game. You know, it's very, very, uh, very good. Four twenty, four twenty. Have a good night. I know it's getting late, you guys. Take it easy, 420, 420. Lost the Winnebago. Tito's McGee. I lost my Winnebago, I mean, or something like that. I'm not used to that new phone. It makes new noises. All right. Oh, number 6,000. Oh, hell yeah. One, two, three. 
Good. Yes. Some girls are kicking my ass right now. Four Bora. Oh, fuck Way better. It's actually comfortable. Up to the first screw up, second screw up. Good to go. Two inches of stretch, probably upwards of about probably about a hundred tops. Hopefully, they end up growing like they was like the other, you know, the other um, strain I grew was of uh, critical berry. It ended up being nice spears. The ones that are in the background in this picture right here are actually the ones I'm talking about, and that was a critical berry right there, and that's a DJ Schwartz blueberry, makes a pretty good push, and um, it, it gave me donkey dicks, no bullshit, and that's probably fucking 25 of them right there, I got I got a triple that, so, if not more, but with this fucking company system uh, going on, man, I'm telling you right now, I think we might be in luck. I got two plants that are growing like weeds over here like crazy and then two that are fucked up so that's not a good ratio in my opinion for that company's reputability as far as uh, me popping the autos for the first time with that company. I don't think I fucked up on this in this, you know, in this case as far as yeah, the autos go ahead. Four of them, they were feminized. I'm not sure um, what had happened, but I got like a run and I got like a semi run. But I have two healthy plants. So I can only go by, you know, I can only go by what I see from you know whatever the strains put now as far as uh phenol expression goes. Two of these plants are like dead on, so I feel as if it's 50% stable and not you know, 75 or 100. Those look fucking fire over there. That looks good. This looks good. Yeah, feels good. Chat's moving pretty quick, holy shit. Growing like weeds, pretty much, yeah. Growing like, dude, you can growing like weed, I know. I put the ice cream down. <laughs> That's funny shit. Still got 35 in here, 4 10 in the morning. Let's do this. Let's do that first one. Um, every plant is good right now. I'm going to send some samples to this company that I got a. Um, Oh, a sexing dude. kit from i have some samples to send out I have at least four of them anyways so i'll send the fucking four this time and see what happens i gotta see what's going on with this sloss and kush and uh, tractor fuel because they're in the early stages of edge 
but they're able to be taken um, uh, you know, a sample for testing. So I need to take that shit out. Usually, you know, I think usually you'd want to uh, wait till about four no tie or um, six inches probably. You know, something that you wouldn't have to wait. Anywhere from 45 to 60 days to, to determine sex on a free flower. You know, there's ways to do it. But if I have the means right now that I have a sexting kit to send out, I'm not going to just do that shit. So I'll be sending those out in the next few days. Which is actually a first for me because I pay for the kit, pay for the, the, the test pretty much. And, you know, you get like 10... I think 10 samples or whatever else uh, so you pay for the whole kit and whatever from the shipping and then you just send the thing back they give you a return you know slip whatever else and um you do the leaf test and they send you back within i think 36 to 48 hours um the whole results of your the female and male the whole gender which will save you a lot of money if you're doing bigger grows you're doing like multiple light grows you know that are um bigger lights like shit cmh uh so you get 630s you got the fucking 1000 watt you know double on it so you get a bunch of shit like that you got a fucking bunch of 20 light grows which cost you money for uh, a lot of different reasons but like you know if you can determine sex on something that's four weeks in advance you save yourself a month's worth of uh, electricity and overhead as far as AC and all kinds of you know, just electricity in general. Time, space, everything. Yeah, past Finn's birthday tonight, you guys. He's uh, 39 years old. Again, man. All right, bro. 39. Look you go. Don't cry. I know it sucks not to be me. It's all right. Not all of us can be genetically perfect. Right. <coughs> Man. I was only like fucking six inches taller. I was only fucking... Uh, come on now. GMOs, bro. GMOs. Didn't drink enough milk, apparently. You didn't get in height. You got in the big heart. Whatever, you know. Make up, make up for implant size. Uh, let's see. He does some stinky seeds. Uh, 12 year anniversary of year 27. What? Year 27 for 12 years? Holy shit. So, ah, uh, I got you. Ah, there's that fucking age right there. Yep. yep. That's funny. It's funny to put it like that. <laughs> Made me think about that shit. Uh, are you laying on your back, Oscar? Yeah, bro. I wish I was, man. Yeah, bro. If I got need that, so, yeah, I'd be at normal height. I think I'd rather be like, you know, five nine. <laughs> Not even normal height. Still under, still under height. <laughs> Just seeing the world of different views, you know, smelling different smell. That's some funny shit. <laughs> Anthro, right? Show them love, bro. Venom grower. They're awesome. For sure, dude. Been in here a while, man. I appreciate that a whole bunch. For sure, man. Uh, because honestly, you, um, your name's fucking fierce, dude. Like, you say Venom, you're a Venom grower. It's like, dude, this dude's gonna kill me. It's so funny. Venom. His name is Venom. It sticks out more than others, though. You know what I mean? If I look at it, I'm like, hey, Mother Nature, this, and that. It's like, you know, all, all it's nice and Venom. It's Debo. Hey, Debo. Hey, what's up, bro? Venom, bro. It's like, holy shit. It's like, damn, dude. Stick out. It's like Anthro. Anthro always sticks out, too. Anthro's 
That's right. Yeah, that has been around a while, man. Debo, you're a funny dude too, bro. You guys have been around forever. Debo's good I people. My four twenty. Four minutes on my four twenty. All right. Real. Two more. It's real, it's real man, bro. It's real. Good shit, bro. dude. Five minutes of funk. Man, I wish I could play music on this fucking channel. For like years, I've thought about making a fucking. Um, I've been on this shit for like three years now, dude. I've, I've thought of making a fucking um, some kind of other channel, and I'm like, you know, what if that does better than my, you know, my cannabis channel? I'd be pissed. Like that's what I came on YouTube for. Imagine that. Past me, I'm like, yeah, some music channel or some shit. Like make your own beats. And all of a sudden, I get like a crazy amount of subscribers. I would fucking die, bro. Like, what the hell? What happened to Koski? Oh, he's over there dropping beats, bro. Sold himself out to fucking yeah. something else, man. Yeah, yeah. So on the money, forgot all about us. That's how it is, you know. That's how it works. No, dude. Never forget I'm still here. Shit, man. I'm still here. Y'all mean too much. Fuck that. No bush to beat around fast, man. <laughs> That's funny. For a four twenty-four minutes. Five minutes of fun, eighteen years of payments. Um fucking true statement. But there's twenty six years of payments actually. Because there's you know hey, five years of fun. It could be on your insurance to the twenty six. So take that nigga, you know, uh, real consideration. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. How do you go from 18 to fucking 26, dude? Insurance, we're like, yeah, yeah, you get paid for them until they're fucking 30 years old. I know, Mother Nature, yeah, yeah. But let me in on that shit, for sure. Nah, uh, music, you have to kind of just, you know, you show me or lead me in the right direction, but you can't really show me how. Music's definitely expressional. You know, you want to be able to have that feeling, you know, whatever, whatever genre, whatever fucking beat, whatever shit you're dropping over, here, you know, over there. I understand what you're saying, but you know what I mean? I got a feeling on that shit. Because it was on the cuff. Got it on the cuff, man. No, I definitely will ask you 100%. You have a lot of knowledge on uh, so I don't different shit around the. Bidden fruit on it. That'd be pretty smart. Here we go. Kyle, this is grow time. Appreciate that. Uh huh. Look at that. Hmm? Forbidden fruit. It's forbidden. Thank you. You are forbidden. <laughs> That's it, just mumbling shit back there, like, what the fuck? What are you doing, bro? Second blunt, here's a white ash on it. My, my fucking back is screaming at me. I just want to get this done. It's like, sit. Bro, I feel you. Say, you guys, nice white ash. Second yeah. blunt. That's the PM running, man. Yeah, dude. How did you guess? Anybody that knows what they're doing can tell. Can't get it past me, man. Look one of you guys, cheers. It's for <laughs> Tony. Pat's fans are scooping fucking <coughs> cocoa. Uh, soil. <coughs> cheers. I am psychically taking the head off my dab to Damn. Even fucking using psychic powers my weed strong. Damn. Holy shit. I will use my amazing psychic ability.
shit. Mm-hmm. High as fuck. <coughs> um, what well, we can even flower, Kyle, this bro. Because uh, if you're like only a fucking. If you're not even in flower, I mean, maybe you just throw three flowers, but you were putting a second scrog on, so I'm going to assume you were going into a stretch for like nine days. Probably at least anywhere, seven or nine. Um, shit. Ah, oh, that sucks, dude. That's. You better bend them branches out, bro, and stretch them bitches out so they get some nice fat colas and get the light down right the in. The only most I have trying to save it. That sucks. Please don't. Fuck, oh, man. That's why, you know, sometimes it's better <coughs> to grab a clone if you can, you know, and um, throw it in the 12 12. Does not have any kind of root zone whatsoever, it'll still show you the sex within fucking seven or ten days. It's a lot better than fucking throwing it for another month, you know. Six weeks, shit, that sucks. God damn, that sucks, bro. But I've been there, bro, and uh, it's a lot of work to do a lot of a lot of fucking unnecessary work, I guess you want to call it. If you have the means to do. You know, um, a sexting kit or just a, a small tent that you can just throw. Or even a fucking light, dude. They can throw that shit in twelve, twelve. You know, in a dome for like five, six days, and then un, you know, un, undo it. It'll, it'll show you a sex, man. But that sucks because like you just filled the whole space, right? Made it look all pretty. I, I was watching you shit, bro. Made it look all beautiful, and next thing you know, you gotta pull it. It's a pretty ass looking male, scrogged out, looking. Looking all fantastic, and then you gotta. Yeah, sucks. It's a nice one. What's up, bro? <laughs> I know you around, bro. Yeah, gonna grow definitely. Anybody want to buy a bag of my cup? Yeah. It's good stuff. I'm not going the way, guys. I mean, I, I like to grow. I like to, yeah, I like to, you know, express my phenotypes that I got, you know, in my tents and fucking show you guys what I got going on because I want to uh, really be able to tell the next grower who's wanting to learn about that strain, you know, possibly a little bit of information that can help them along their journey. And that's all I'm trying to obtain. I'm not trying to fucking prove nothing to nobody saying I can grow in crazy conditions or whatever else. Yeah, I've made a great, you know, I, I've made a great system and whatever, you know, and that's neither here nor there to establish that, you know, a few years ago and shit. And the thing's working out uh, fantastic. But like what it comes down to is I want to see what I can do with certain strains. If you guys send me strains and I grow them out, please feel free to watch because it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be showing you guys exactly what the fucking strain's doing. You know, if I do it every week, you'll see what's going on. It's all you really need. I can do it every three days, but you know, it's not going to fucking benefit you guys or me. You want to see results, so you're going to see that shit every seven days, good or bad. And that's pretty much what I'm onto right now. Um, the one that I just, uh, the one that I just bought, it was like 120 bucks. Right, there's, there's other sex kits out there that, like, you know, from Fino, uh, Fino Express. Um, I bought Wendell over there, um, he's in my area, he um, sex style shit. But uh, there's a dude from California, I can actually send you that shit in the deal. Um, but uh, I think it cost me like a hundred and thirty bucks, I think, and you get 10 sexting kits, I believe. And then that's like with shipping and all kinds of other shit. So like you can get the little squish cards. If you wanna if you already have some kind of way to whatever and uh put that with the you know the, the kit that they're actually sending you or whatever else, you you'll 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 be able to um see what I'm talking about if you look on the website over there. Um I'll give you the site. Shit. I'll DM you bro, it's all right. Right now it's fucking tucked away over here somewhere. Yeah, like 130 bucks, you know. What's the $25 Pat's fan fee? 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely other ways to uh, to test out what is male or female if you're trying to run during the run without having to uh, send in sexting kits. So if you don't have the money to send that shit in, I don't blame you. I've never sent anything in. It's the first one I've actually bought. <clears throat> if I send this shit out, dude, um, which I'm going to... Uh, it, it's a whole different ball game for me because if anything, I would wait till the fucking planet's six inches tall and just throw it in 12 12. Don't feed it flower food, but throw it on a 12 12 cycle and then put it back in after seven days. Don't go any longer than that because you don't want it to, you know, revert into different hormones because if it does, it's going to deform the plant itself. It's going to mutate it, which in some cases is not bad. It might mutate the plant in a good way, but you don't want to introduce any kind of hermy, you know, hermy. Uh, any kind of hermy structure or any kind of uh, inducing any kind of like stress in the plant throughout the whole entire cycle of that because that will revert it from going from flower into you know from veg to flower back into veg without being in flower with veg food so it, it gets fucking it gets weird the plant like will get a flat stalk and shit like it, it, it's strange Gets, yeah, I've had a couple do that. The best flat stocks. Yeah, I throw mine into twelve, twelve for like seven days, and they get fucked up, man. They sometimes they just get. It's like what the fuck, but it doesn't slow them down that much, and they'll show you the sex, and that will save you money in the out, uh, in the outcome. So, I get what. Yeah, I wouldn't advise just throwing it in a cup of water and doing it, because chances are you're gonna hermy. You're gonna get a hermy. I see like three people do that recently. Dude, is it a male or female? It's both. Yeah, shit. Are you kidding me, man? I'm like, no, man. Look, you see balls, flower, both. Exactly what I was just saying. Damn it! I'm like, you can't do it that way. It just, it, I mean, you can. Oh, Sometimes it works, but you better be careful. It, it doesn't, bro. It's just like, fuck, that sucks. Like, it, you know, it definitely wants to show me, but at the same time, it's like, hey, I'm... Both. Somebody said if you use something like, um, like the Clonex solution and do it, it lessens the chance of it hermine if you just maybe it lessens the chance of it because the um the hormone solution that's inside of the clonex by itself will definitely be <laughs> honestly um polish ham had a great expression of, of this exact example of what we're talking about um do you remember how he was throwing in um throwing in cups and whatever else and he was trying to grow those clones that he had that that one time that one dude was going to come by and buy a bunch of clones and he had a huge closet full of them remember that shit yeah yeah about three months ago or something two months ago right he had the whole thing he was doing clonex i think and um it ended up being a great example <clears throat> of what that shit's capable of because he just threw it in there and it was like yeah yeah <laughs> he stayed healthy the whole time like, fuck. so not to say it will work on every um every instance or every uh every circumstance because I don't know if you're in a colder condition or warmer condition. Those make the sole difference in what's going on. So, especially if you're just going into water. Texas. Where is my, where is my pipe? Pipe, oh, it's right here in front of me. If it had freaking teeth, it would have bit me. I don't know what to smoke. Yeah, it always has new genetics. Uh, Look some of that already. That's 100 percent bro. Always. Definitely if you put it through stress, depending on how much you put it through, that plant Hermes out, it's definitely in the in the fucking genes of it. You're just putting it through the stress that I normally have. If it was uh say if it was outside in a windy ass day, like a really windy day, and the thing's got no support, just fucking getting shit whipped. That could easily cause a fucking seed on a plant outdoors. I mean, it's getting shit whipped, you know? It's like, God, dude, what the fuck? It's definitely putting you through some stress. You know, cracking your stock and whatever else you're doing, you know? But you know I don't what? know. I had a bunch of plants go through Hurricane Gloria. Some of yeah, them, dude, some yeah, of yeah, them yeah. actually did not break. Up. Some of them took All it. Only this strong, baby. That's right. Fast fan knows what I'm talking about. Dude, I went. We had a nor'easter with my plants last time. Remember that shit? Yeah. I harvested after it. I'm smoking it. That was a fucking, I was like, damn, 
That's He'll take a beating. Dude, it will. I had this thing fucking braced up. I like, out they're going. Oh, they're done. And they're just sitting there almost going to the ground like this. Yeah. Oh, my God. Up. I'm like, it's going to snap. It's going to snap. All night. No, they don't snap, like, bro. They, they, like, tuck for, dude, they tuck for fucking. Tough you know, little fucker right know, there. Going away for a little while. Tucking. Tuck and roll. It's crazy. Mm, it smells fucking awesome. This is the. Yeah, um, no, dude, that no reefs there. And then I harvested right after. I was like, wow. I couldn't go another day or two. I wouldn't be able to. It was like we had rain for fucking four days it was terrible it rained uh, consistently like sideways for fucking four or five days it's like shit i'm just probably in that blood rot everywhere so shout out kina genetics dude this stuff fucking took a beat and kept on going i am i'm 39 my family get we get great birds early Yeah, happy birthday, Fats fan. I'm not singing that shit, bro. Sorry. Please don't. I never do anything abusive to you like that. Who, who's the old, old school bro's birthday, too? What? What happened? Oh, shit. His birthday's today, too, bro. Right on, old school. Yeah, Bam. bro. That's awesome. You guys are both fucking... Yeah, you had too many. Nights. Are you thirty nine too? Okay. Wow, you guys, happy birthday, both you guys. Or have you gone to forty nine? I hung at twenty nine as long as I could. Though it's just that's like, why you both the assholes. I like it. It's makes sense. I didn't do it. I wouldn't. I had no idea his birthday was taking. Not mention it. He's very naive about his age. Apparently, because he's not very young. But yeah. I'm 50 something. Yeah, he's 50 something. Yeah, that, you guys, 50 something. The Grays tell it all, you fucking wizard. <clears throat> An old school? You're old. I think I'm 53. Think. Either 52 or 53. 54 today. So you guys are like the same fucking. Look at you fucking guys. You had brothers? Huh? Your brothers? My you long know? lost twin. He is, bro. He is a yeah, point, I think, isn't he? Shit. Mom could lied. Be. Fuck me, dude. It could be. Grow beard old school. Do it. I want to see. Fucking good, dude. Yeah, I'm younger. Yes. I am the spry one. Old gumpies. I'm both older than me. That is awesome. And you'll always be older than me. <laughs> That's what my brother says all the time. Is I'll always be younger than me, no matter what. That's awesome, dude. That's funny. That's funny. Desi, thank you, bro. Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> Dude, how old are you, Batman? What? How old are you? 53 or 52. I'm not sure. I was born 16. You don't, you don't know which one you are. Do you skip the whole year? I, I don't fucking really pay attention. I didn't even say nothing last year. Do you know the year? Boy, you have to know the year. Boy, bro. 1968. All right, so look it up on Google if you don't know. Buddy. I don't know how to Google. I'm too old. <laughs> I don't know about it. You're a fucking clown. You son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, Pastor. What are you doing? That's what he usually said. We said we said oldest. I was born in 1968. Yeah, so you guys are brothers. I, said, I, for fuck's I was sake. born in 1968. Yeah, you do the fucking math. All right? It's my birthday. I ain't doing math. 52? Oh, well, that's good. That's good. That's I, thought I really thought it was 53. Person, that's a good thing. Crazy. Separated at birth. Make an episode. I'm even two years younger than both years. Woo! <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't act my age though. I never have. <laughs> That's a fucking funny time today, dude. Good shit. Happy birthday, Pastor. That's awesome. <laughs> That's half the battle. That's how you get around it. Don't act your age. 
Yeah, you know. Keep thinking you're fucking. Keep, keep thinking you're 25. A tree. <laughs> keep thinking you're 25 and you'll be fine. <laughs> Word of advice, kids: don't fall out of a tree and fucking age whatever. Well, one day you go to do something, you realize shit. I ain't fucking 25 anymore. That hurt. <laughs> Oh, too funny. All right, y'all gonna have to do a birthday dab with me. Yeah, do it right now. I'll stay on for that, bro. No. Right after I'm getting off it, you guys. So let's uh, have Pat's fan drink that fucking wet in water and uh, bust down a birthday dab, my friend. Wait a minute. I got some of my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> what am I gonna dab on? What is that? Is this curd cookies or these? We're waiting, Jesus. Ooh, that's full of top. I don't know that one. Jesus, relax, we man. It's this. Oh, is I'm relaxed, bro. This I'm is so important. This is an important I'm high dab. as a dressed asshole right now. Skittles so. sounds pretty fucking good right now. I'll tell you, I think I'm gonna go with that. Skittles. I'm so good, man. Skittles. Oh, wait a minute. Have to have the Mac too. Double bang, double banger. Okay. We're gonna do two. We're yeah. gonna double fist it. Double fist it? What? I have to. Punch. Some of this stuff can go on the fridge. Some of this stuff can sit out. Look, this stuff came out fucking like butter this time. What the fuck? Because they did it the way you used to do it. It looks freaking great. It smells awesome. Not listening to nobody no more. Went in my fucking way. I did it my way. Nah. Orange cookies now. Nah. nah. This is disastrous. That's what this what is. What the movie. fuck? I'm in the wall. That's creepy. I don't like that one. That's not cool. Whoa, what the hell? What the fuck just happened? I got a table. Whoa, a where'd table. you go, man? I got a hand, right? Look, you get the wall. My, my beard's gone. My face. Look, look at it. It's a Trump, look at it. It's a Trump supporter. He's building the wall. Well, I think <laughs> You need the screen, man, for it to kind of work. I mean, you can kind of tweak it, that you can do it, but it doesn't. Uh, I tried it with my. Yeah, I guess. I guess grow it. See, you got to have like so the right lighting over you. Something helps. Yeah, probably, but you know. Because if you got the light coming down this way on you, it'll be, it'll hit. It'll make you, but everything's in the back. Yeah, I tried it. I tried a couple different ones. That's not right. Man. I don't like it. I don't like it very much. I have my tents. <laughs> Fuck everybody else. Fuck you. I'll keep oh, the goddamn no. tents. Hey, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Roma filter. No, that's a that's a freaking backdrop for the. I mean, the green screens for uh, Streamyard. We just activated them like two weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. My daddy said we don't run we don't run your seeds because of. Make the lady man's go pee pee. Way more bush than that now. Way more. Now we need a dab tool. I mean, a dab thing. Two hickey, a torch. Are we ready? Do it. Tell me, everybody, tell me when you're ready. Go. On your marks, get set. We're going to change it up to three. He yeah, adds another one at the end, folks. 
to prepare himself. Uh, stretch lungs. <laughs> On your marks. <coughs> Get set. Go. Failure. Go. One, two, three. We're all macking it. Mmm, sweet skittles. Topped off with yep. rock and tea can, bro. Mm, forbidden fruit. All right, you guys, it's fucking 4:41 a.m. That's been you dabbing the fuck out of that. I hope so, bro. <coughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm right on. Right on. <laughs> And with that, whoop, whoop. <coughs> all right, everybody, much love for tonight. Appreciate it a whole bunch. Pat's been happy birthday, bro. <coughs> tonight, thanks for hanging out. Hey, happy birthday to you, old school, old school grower. Old school grower, <coughs> stay young, bro. Happy birthday. Have a good birthday, man. Uh, yeah, everybody else. I'm having lobsters and steam is tomorrow. I'll just not do it tonight. Tomorrow night, lobsters and steam. Fuck yeah, man. I hope you enjoy your day tomorrow. And uh, everybody else in chat, stay real, stay true to yourself. Much love. And uh, I appreciate you guys for being here. So we'll talk to you guys all later. Peace. Cheers. <laughs>